Yes, indeed, on this weather impact alert day, here we go again with more heat. That time frame Devin was just talking about where she said three to six o'clock. That's the hottest part of the day. That's when our temperatures will approach the upper 90s this afternoon. And so anywhere this afternoon, it's really a good idea to limit that time outdoors. If you can do work in the morning or late in the evening, that's always better outside. And I tell you what, this morning, We've got a treat for you. This is one of the best feeling mornings we've had in a while because the humidity is lower. And yes, as we get you out the door, we've got low 70s on the North Shore. We've got the low 80s in the Metro, but the humidity is still lower here, so it doesn't feel as bad as it has. Now our humidity will stay quite low this afternoon, meaning our heat index will be 103 to 108. So it's still going to be hot and a little humid, but it's not the oppressive 115 that we sometimes deal with. And then same thing into tomorrow morning. We wake up feeling pretty good. Parts of your Saturday they are feeling low humidity, but still hot. So you still have to be very, very careful in the sunshine. I promise you will overheat very quickly. Same thing Saturday and Sunday. Red dress run tomorrow. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And then as we get into next week, unfortunately, there's no break in the intensity. We're going to stay about in the mid to upper 90s here all the way into next week. And I don't see any major relief on the way other than that lower humidity. Heck of a lightning show this morning off the coast. This is looking towards the south from the West Bank. Almost just a constant flash of lightning every second. I was checking our radar down here. These are the thunderstorms. Look at all the lightning here. Over the past 30 minutes, we have seen over 3,500 lightning strikes from these individual storms sitting south of Grand Isle. Occasionally a little lightning strike even inland, so be careful down there if you're heading out this morning. Rain chances overall are going to stay low. No major rain except for right there in the Gulf. Out in the tropics, Debbie is now post-tropical cyclone Debbie, still causing rain. This feature, tropical wave, is expected to develop here in the next couple of days into next week up to a 50%. Wouldn't be surprised if that continues to go up by next Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll have the feature somewhere near the Caribbean islands. Now looking at the long term trends here, most of our models do have a name storm. Many do have a hurricane as well into next week, but I'm liking the trends of the steering currents. We've got a big trough digging down that would turn this thing out to sea and way before it ever gets to the US. Now the islands, we're talking Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic certainly need to keep a close eye on this, even maybe the Bahamas and certainly Bermuda. But right now I'm feeling OK, certainly in the Gulf. East Coast watch it long term, but that trough is a good sign. That's what you want for these storms to turn out to sea. Of course, still a long ways out. We'll continue to track it and we'll let you know if our thinking changes, but I'm feeling OK about it right now. Our forecast really quiet. That's not a bad thing this time of year. That means there's nothing threatening us in the tropics. Just going to be hot. 98 today with dry weather. 97 tomorrow with mostly dry weather. The weekend looks mostly dry as a whole. And then as we get into next week, Still not a whole lot of relief. I think the next couple of days are actually going to be the best because the humidity is lower, but our humidity will start to steadily come back as we head into next week. Brandon. 